Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, I just wanted to make a video showing a little kit I make up for my magnifying glasses, my preferred magnifying lens. I got onto these little magnifying glasses from Viceroy. He also sells these pill boxes, brass pill boxes by Ted Cash. And um, I asked Neville from Viceroy, who's an eBay seller, if the 38mm lens, magnifying lens, would fit in them. And he was good enough to measure them up, and he found that they perfectly fit in them with just enough room to fit in there without too much hassle and it all worked out perfectly for me. So this is the kit I make up now. That's my preferred way of storing my 38mm, which is my preferred lens. This is the lens that I get, I buy off him. They are $10 plus, $10 Aussie plus, $2.25 postage off the top of my head. I will link all of the, all of them, these in the bottom of the description bar. These are high quality six power lenses. They are powerful enough or powerful lenses and they like start char cloth as soon as you focus the sun. So I really like them. I live in Queensland. It's called the Sunshine State. We get lots of sun. So I really like magnifying glasses because it's a really easy way of getting char cloth or char material to ember up without any dramas. Um, you don't have to worry about chipping out the edges on your flint and steel on your flints, um, you don't have to go through the bother of trying to do friction fires, anything like that. As long as you've got sunlight, these things work really well. I advocate carrying one of these around with you in every one of your kits because it's just so easy to use as long as you have sunlight. Now, it is difficult if you don't have sunlight. Granted, at night, whatever, it, it is a drama. But if you've got sunlight, this is by far the easiest way to get char material going. Without char material, it is hard. Um, I've never had much success with it because um, it just doesn't work as well. You can get it to do it, but you just got to have a lot of practice. It's mainly working the edges of things. And you, you'll find if you get certain materials and you work the edges of it, you can get it to char and then you'll be able to get it to ember up and then you'll be able to blow it into flames because you'll be able to put that ember into a bird's nest and then develop it up heat enough to blow it into flame. But anyway, I wanted to show you the kit I make that's the 38mm lens. This is the one I've basically settled on as my preferred one. This is the 50mm one. It's a lot bigger and a lot more, like a lot thicker and everything. They're both six power. Um, they take up a little bit more room, but I actually prefer the smaller one mainly because it fits in this pillbox so well and as you'll see you buy these little little bags off ebay um i have a few of these now um they are a little bit more expensive uh for some reason the little calico bags like this you you pay five or six dollars each for these so yeah that that's a little bit expensive but anyway the whole kit that's the bag with the pillbox in it. 
So nice, neat little package. Fits in your pocket really well. Um, no problems at all. I could see that actually suspended around your neck too. It's not that heavy, but I, I prefer to put them in kits or in your pocket because, and then maybe put a lanyard on it, so lanyard and then a strap to a, a belt so you won't lose it. But the idea of putting it in the pillbox is just to protect the lens because they are glass and they will get scratched or um, break. Now, these friction lids are quite tight. I, I noticed this one was particularly tight, so I do struggle a bit to get it open. And that's a good thing because I, I prefer it tight rather than loose. If I can actually get the bloody thing open. There we go. Now I put two pieces of suede. I just get off cut suede, put the tin down on the suede, cut it out. Then I leave the magnifying glass in the crepe paper so you can pull the magnifying glass out and then put another piece of suede in the bottom of the kit. And if you notice that it is, that fills it all up. And once the lid's on in there, it is absolutely rock solid in there. And that magnifying glass is perfectly protected inside that. Now that I put that lid back on. As I said, that's that's a really good one. This is the best one I've had with as far as the friction fit goes. But there it all is. Nice, neat little. And there's the magnifying glass in there. I always keep it in the in the in the crepe paper just to as an added protection. Um, plus, as you see. Once you put it in, in there, you leave a little bit there so you can just grab that and it, you pull it straight out. But always put two pieces of suede in there just to keep it all buffered up and, and, and nice and protected. And then lid on top, make sure it's all friction fitted all, all in nice and neat. And then back in its own little baggy, nice, nice, little neat package. All fits really well. All up, um, I think the pill cases are 15 bucks. The magnifying glass is $10 and I think it's about $3 in post. So it tends to be a little bit expensive, but all high quality gear and robust protected and it's a neat little package the one thing maybe forgo the little bag if you if you can get the calico bags for cheap find somewhere to find the calico bags for cheaper or make a maybe a little leather slip case for it which would be another option and that would be just as good too or if you're not worried about the little calico bags, just put the little pill case in your kits as you go. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. that that's This is what I, I've been making a couple of these up now. I've been adding these into several of my flint and steel kits. And I, I like to include a magnifying glass basically for any of my flint and steel kits or my fire kits. I do like the Fresnel lenses, but I'm actually going towards these magnifying glasses more. I, I actually prefer them rather than the Fresnel lenses. I put my Fresnel lenses in the likes of my modern kits, but I prefer to go to the magnifying lenses for my more traditional kits. But anyway, just wanted to show you that, and thanks for watching.